Happy week to everybody. It's the Quantage video series presented by Fantasy Sports Markets. He, of course, is Derek Brown. I am Ben Heisler, and because we are at week two, it is time for your favorite video of the week. It's time for us to reveal our favorite cash and GPP plays. You can play these at a variety of sites, but we certainly encourage you to go ahead and play them at fantasysportsmarkets.com. So, Debro, let's start at the quarterback spot. Give me your favorite cash quarterback play of the week. Where are you at? Uh, it's all Lamar Jackson for me. I feel like Lamar Jackson got the highest floor with his legs and his arm. I feel like that game is going to just be great. There's no way that Jackson busts in this one. Yeah, Pat Mahomes is that guy for me. I think you can also make a really nice argument for Jared Goff, the way that he's been so good at home. There's plenty of options to stack him with. It's going to be a high-scoring game over at the Coliseum. So I think a combination of Pat Mahomes, depending on what site you use him on, and Jared Goff, those are going to be my two cash game favorite quarterbacks. And maybe a little bit of Josh Allen in there as well, purely based on the ownership. What about a GPP for a quarterback? Who do you like this week? All Big Ben. It, it, it's it's all Roethlisberger for me. I feel like that he's going to smash, and I feel like people are going to sit here, and he's going to go uh, overlooked a little bit. I'm on the Big Ben train as well. I also think Matt Ryan is in a really nice spot Sunday night at home against the Eagles. Uh, they saw Carolina fall to 0-2 with two games at home that they lost. Atlanta is finally back at home. Ryan has always been dominant at the Georgia Dome, or I guess Mercedes-Benz Stadium now. So I think that's another great play. And uh, again, on FSM, you can have the whole Sunday slate as opposed to just the main slate. Cash game running back. I have a feeling that you and I are in lockstep agreement on this one. Who is it going to be? Oh, yeah. We're walking hand in hand straight down the money road with this one, Ben. It's Alvin Kamara all day, every day. Give him to me 100%. Love yeah, him. well, there's not much need to, to add on after that. Alvin Kamara is in an absolute smash spot this week. GPP running back, though, I think we can differentiate a little bit. Who do you like here? I'm going back to the, the Marlon Mack on this one. I feel like he's going to carry no ownership. I feel like he's in a lock for 20 to 25 touches. They're going to feed him the rock, and he's going to pay off. Damian Williams, big shock there, is going to be my GPP running back. I've been trying to tell you guys all week of – Not only was he the guy that led the Chiefs and led the NFL in red zone looks in week one, he also outsnapped uh, LaShawn McCoy two and a half to one. And by looking at the Quan Edge injury tool, you will see that only two players benefited most from Tyreek Hill not being on the field, one of which was Damian Williams. I think he benefits the most of anybody, anybody on this lineup as far as Tyreek Hill being out. And I think you'll see him active in the passing game as well as being that goal line back for Kansas City. It's such a good matchup on the road against the Oakland Raiders. Wide receiver Cash, who intrigues you this week, my friend? It's Keenan Allen. His target share and his market share is going to be too high this week for you to get away from him. His chances that he's going to bust, I mean, it's just not there. His floor and ceiling combo is just, you can't pass it up in cash. I, I think Tyrell Williams is a really intriguing name. You wrote about him in your 10 yep. stats article over at the Quan Edge. He destroys zone coverage. That's what you're going to see a lot out of Steve Spagnuolo's defense in the 4-3. Uh, I think Tyrell Williams has another just great opportunity in week two after a very good game in week one. And also Juju Smith-Schuster firmly in play as well with our cash game quarterback in Ben Roethlisberger. GPP wide receiver, who do you like? Tyler Lockett, he's going to bounce back this week. Uh, you saw just the Steelers got eight up in the slot last week, and then they gave up two, three touchdowns to the Patriots in the slot last week, and it's going to happen. Slockett is going to go off. When trying to figure out which wide receiver to pair with Jared Goff, there are a lot to be able to choose from. Robert Woods got the most targets in week one. Cooper Cup, a very viable option out of the slot for week two as well. But give me Brandon Cooks. Revenge game continues on. He had dominant performances uh, over the last year against uh, the New Orleans Saints. Over 100 yards, touchdowns in each game. Fire up Brandon Cooks in your GPP lineups, especially on FSM. Finally, at the tight end spot, who's that cash game guy for you? I feel like you just got to eat the chalk on this one. So it's going to be Darren Waller. I feel like the total is too high. His target share is going to be too high for you to pass up. And cash, I believe his ownership percentage is going to be extremely high. And if he has a good game, which I'm projecting, if you don't have him, you're going to be behind the eight ball. Yeah, if you're not taking Travis Kelsey as your cash game block, maybe same with George Kittle on fantasy sports markets with no salary caps, I'm not sure what you're doing. It's such a good matchup uh, with Mahomes that you can go ahead and stack them up, especially in the super flex options over on fantasy sports markets. So I will go Travis Kelsey as my cash game tight end. And last but not least, the GPP tight end of the week from Derek Brown is... I'm going to give you a twofer, actually. Okay. It's going to be the old man pairing of Jimmy Graham and Delaney Walker. If you pick in between one, it is Delaney Walker 
all day long. He is going to be such a great play this week. Yeah, I'm on the Delaney Walker train too. The the thick gold chain around his neck while he was talking about how they are who we thought they were going up against Cleveland in week one. And it, listen, I think he's like 35, 36 years old. That dude is yoked. So hard to go against Delaney Walker in that situation. Remember to read all the great information from Derek Brown over at thequantedge.com. Use promo code POWERHOUR. That'll get you 25% off for the season. Then once you got your subscription over the Quant Edge, run it back over to fantasysportsmarkets.com. Week two contests for the NFL have over $220,000 up for grabs. We also have Superflex DFS. It doesn't get any better than that. And go up and play against us, play up against me, D-Bro, anybody that you like over at FSM this week. For Derek, I'm Ben. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck in week two, everybody. It's the Quant Edge video series presented by FSM.